You cancers, I see that that level of peace that you've been looking for and fortitude has finally been achieved. Look, you have the Nine of Pentacles, right? Whatever it is that I get the Nine of Pentacles in this particular deck, it usually just reminds me of some sort of like baptism, some sort of <clears throat> remaking of yourself, right? Remaking of your subconscious. <clears throat> and then you have the Lovers and the Six of Swords. So the Lovers and the Six of Swords is, is about what you are reforming is re uh repositioning your idea of the love that you've been giving to other people and that you're going to start giving it to yourself right um because a lot of people have been taking uh your love and taking your ideas because a lot of the times cancer crabs y'all be having ideas that make y'all get rich and stuff like this that a lot of uh layla <coughs> layla or lila i think lila Horm uh, hormozy is a cancer mike tyson Bill Cosby, um, Conor McGregor, I mean, the list, Rose Namajunas, Israel Adesanya, I mean, the list goes on and on. Elon Musk is a cancer. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. But, um, but a lot of people don't really take you seriously, right? Or at least you feel like that, right? A lot of people don't really want to be in a long-term commitment with you. They're, they don't, they can't see the bigger picture. And, a lot of a lot because of that a lot of you cancers are like okay you'll just give yourself the bigger picture you'll see the bigger picture for yourself the knight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles they don't listen they don't like to listen to anything that you tell them they don't like to take into consideration anything that you telling them anything that you telling them that is uh somehow uh constructive and it would it, and it would benefit them. They don't want to listen to it, right? It's all about how, you know, they wanted to do their own thing. They thought that they had their own brain, which they do, but they thought that they were better than you and they knew better than you and that they didn't have to listen to you because they were the higher life form. You were the lower one. But you cancer crowds are always the ones that's bouncing back. And since you separated from dysfunctional people who wouldn't want to listen to you, overall just didn't treasure you overall just didn't really take you seriously enough and it's no insult against you cancers they don't take anybody seriously enough they don't even take themselves as seriously as they should because they're dysfunctional so you cancer crabs uh have to realize that and a lot of you um see it for what it is so that's part of the reason why you realize that you know you're starting to love yourself right and and look out for yourself and the five of swords represent you will talk to other people but uh you're not really stressing out on whether or not those people uh decide to accept you or not as as their significant other if they're not interested in you they're just simply not interested but a lot of you cancer crabs are not running them down to try to be in any kind of connection with them you can live without them right you know Cancer crabs are very independent. So you do their own thing. <laughs> so the Eight of Swords now and the Seven of Swords, excuse me, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords is about how um, you don't necessarily want to really always move by yourselves, but you know, um, you are independent and you can most definitely and comfortably move by yourself, right? I'm not gonna sit up here and make it seem like cancer crabs are weak or any of that type of stuff because that's not the case at all it's just that you know a lot of y'all would want to be in love if you had a choice love would y'all love loved ones you know y'all are like tommy from from power you know which is a cancer joseph sakura is a cancer <laughs> but y'all are like him you know you love family you love you love that stuff you love loved ones and and the closer the, they are to you right right vin diesel the closer they are to you the better it is right but up underneath your tutelage because you know you're you're trying to to essentially protect them and if people don't want that form of protection then it is what it is you know it is what it is so the temperance now in the page of swords now is about how um since that's the case uh that's this is going to really save you cancers a whole lot of stress in the future because 
The only types of people that can ultimately stress you out are the people that you allow to stress you out. You have to constantly try to be in a relationship and force situations. And I'm not talking about force situations in that perspective, right? I'm talking, or, or, or the R word, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is situation in the sense that you know what it feels like when you cancers are trying to get to know somebody and it's and it's literally like it's it's hard to do that because they won't answer your calls they won't answer your text messages it's like it's like it, it, they know you but it's like what is the point if they have your number and they're not reaching out at all but yet you calling them they're not answering their phone they're not picking up their phone they're not you know what I'm saying? They're not picking up their phone. They're not sending you text messages. They're not trying to hang out with you. And when you're trying to spend some, some quality time with them, they're always aloof. They're always doing something or they never have time. So what do they expect you to do other than just to bounce? But then when if you bounce now, it would create some form of friction. But that's not even the case that you Cancer Crabs wanted. You wanted to create a relationship with people, right? But again, this is your circumstance. So many people are goofy and they're weird. They're not interested in anything constructive. They want to be living hand to mouth begging because whenever you cancer crabs get with these people, y'all devise a plan. Because whenever it is that cancer crabs get with you and stuff like this and, and, and they decide to get with you, a lot of you cancer crabs you know what I'm saying? For any of the cross watchers, a lot of the cancer crafts be thinking about ways to get rich all the time, finances and power. And the thing about it is that a lot of the times y'all, you know, they don't want to listen. Those people don't want to listen. They don't want to participate. They, they more of an obstacle in the way than they are a solution. So a lot of you cancer crafts are like, look, I got to leave you because you wilding, right? So a lot of you cancers realize that now that y'all don't have the extra personal more specifically the people that would stand in your way you cancer crabs are flying ahead because again it's just you you get to do whatever you want you get to implement or use or act or become that same plan that you would if you if you were with somebody but you're doing it all for yourself and you can afford to do that because there's no one there trying to get in your way. So let's clarify the temperance. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands, right. This is a situation for you where the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of, of uh, Cups is about how a lot of you cancer crabs, you don't feel like a failure because you're not because you already, tr you try, you you really do put your best foot forward and you try to, you really do put your best foot forward. And it's, it the way you put your best foot forward, Cancer Crabs, it's romantic. It's like, it's like, you know, you want the other person to know that you're choosing them. So the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands now is about how, you know, since that's the case, um, the Wheel of Fortune represent cancer, by the way. Y'all showed up in your own reading. Congrats to y'all. But people can't see that, right? That you're trying to love them because they spend so much time keeping their eyes glued shut, right? They can only think about the short term. You're looking for somebody that would want you long term, that you could build something with. And the two of wands take over the whole world. That's something that Cancer Crabs and Capricorns have in common. Y'all want the whole world in the palm of your hands. And depending on the Cancer and depending on the Capricorn, you can actually get it. But I ain't gonna get too deep into that. I ain't gonna get too deep into that. Look, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of January. We have 9333. Please smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. Um, also, too, there's a link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it. Um, it will give you a drop down menu with, with all of my services, 
from sweatshirts, hoodies, the books that I'm selling. If you want to get private tarot readings from me, all of that is in the link tree link. Uh, and also follow my Instagram page. My Instagram is also there as well. Peace. Thank you.